Hey everybody, welcome back to another Cree tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the resource library in Krita and how that has changed. So just to have something in the background, we have a nice little maple leaf that I have that I'm turning into a brush pattern and we'll kind of use that for the demo. So to open up the Krita manage resource like um, window, go to settings and manage resources. Right off the bat you can see it looks a little different. So here is just brush presets and local resources. These are things that I downloaded and added to Krita before Krita 5. So you may not have this, so don't worry if you don't. This might be empty for you, you might have something else here. Don't worry about it. So if we click on local resources, we can see there's a ton of different bundles and other things here. This might look a little bit different for you, like I said, and depending on what you've installed yourself. If you're brand new to Krita, you might not have much of anything here, and that's fine. Nothing's wrong, it just means you haven't imported a bundle before. And we'll go over that um, in a little bit too. So right now this is just managing what's already on your computer for Krita. So we're going to kind of go over this very simply. Uh, if we go to brush tips, again this is local resources, so this is going to be all on my local folder that I made and brought in. These are all different shapes that I made. Uh, you can see that these here were from my chainmail tutorial. I have a couple that I made, just some seeds, um, a star, some waves for some water effects, some pebbles, and for every reason triangle. I don't know where the triangle was for or <laughs> what I was doing, but yeah. And this is a Photoshop import that I was testing out. So if I don't want this anymore, because I really don't want this anymore, if you have a local resources and that you made or imported and you're like, okay, I don't use this anymore, it's taking up space, I don't like using this, you can go ahead and click on it and hit delete resource. So it's not permanently deleted forever, it's just kind of deactivated, so if you need to import it again, you can. But it's now removed from Krita, so you don't have to worry about it being there. I'm actually going to remove this one as well because it's a duplicate of this one. These I'll keep. And I'll leave those in there. That's fine. So if you want to import the resource, you can go to import resources down here and it'll bring you to wherever your last folder path was. So I was just in the Krita bundles, the folder that I made for my bundles, which is where the crayons are and where the foliage bundle I just made is as well. So since it's already in there, I can't import this again because it will give me an error, which is what it should do, I already have it in there, or it has the same name. If you want to open the resource folder, you can do that, and that's going to give you to the Krita resource folder that's made by default when you install Krita. So this is not my custom folder structure or anything like that, this is made by default when you install the program. And here it's got the brushes, you can put your bundles in here if you want. Some, other, some stuff here is just automatic with Krita, I didn't make that folder, or that file. You have gradients in here, you have layer styles, paint presets, palettes. So if you have a custom palette you want to save out, you can put them in there if you want, or just see what Krita has by default. And it's good to familiarize yourself with what they have. Alright, so let's see, we're going to go to back to my brush tips. Just, and I'm only going back to the brush tips because they're the custom ones, so we can use them a little bit easier. So you can see this one. Um, if you look at the right hand side of the manage resource window, you have a tag option. You can actually add tags to these within Krita. So you can see that I have some tags for other stuff in here. The CD brushes that I had deleted already and then foliage which is for something else. I'm actually going to name this uh, water01. Actually no. We're just going to name this water. Actually, no, no, we'll leave it at water one because if I had to make it a different set of water brushes, I would like to keep those separate. So, for this, what we can do is now we can put, apply water one to both of these because they're different brushes that I was using for water reflections. And you want to kind of see what was tagged with it. You can go down here, go to the tags, and you see all untagged. So, the water brushes are gone, or brush tips are gone because they're tagged. But I can actually look at only the ones that are labeled water 01. Foliage is another story. All untagged, again, then you can see all. 
So it's kind of like in the brush presets where you can see the tagged brushes or the non-tagged or whatever other tag you gave them. So if we go to brush presets, you can actually see all the tags. Custom are the ones that I have. Digital, effects, paint, ink, all that stuff. You know, under local resources still, so if you want to custom again, it'll show the ones that are with the Krita 4 bundle that are labeled with a custom tag, which is true. If I go to my pop-up palette and close that for a second, you can see I have the five here that are tagged with that. I have the eraser, the two blenders, my two custom, and the eraser. All right, and you can see all the other options you can see for the bundles here. Uh, window layouts aren't going to, and the workspaces aren't really gonna have any icons or anything like that, but you can still see the, the text and the description of it. If you have your own custom workspace, you'll see the text there as well. So if you want to create your own bundle, there's a button down here called Create a Bundle. And here you can name it, give it a description, put the author and the website in there if you want. If you have an icon you've made for this, you can add that in there as well. And you basically will just go through each of these. And whatever is currently active within your version of Krita, you can go ahead and drag it, not drag it over, but go ahead and just sort of put it over there with this icon. So I'll say what's available to put into your bundle and what you've selected so far. So I can go ahead and just put a bunch of stuff in there. Um, brush presets, put that there. This isn't getting rid of anything, by the way, of your active Krita settings. It's just saying, here's what's available to put in your bundle. And now that you put it in the bundle, it's not available anymore because you've already put it in there. You can go ahead and save and you can embed the tags. I'm not gonna save this because I have too many bundles already, but if you were to go, you know, go and say, yes, I want this bundle. I like this, it has all my stuff in there. Go ahead and save it. If you click embed tags, it'll let you uh, bring over all the tags that are in the bundle. So because my brushes, brush presets, gradients, patterns, I think the only thing that I gave a tag to was were the brushes and the brush presets. So that's what you can do. We hit save that. You can save the bundle. And if you want to see the bundle is somewhere easy to find, under your save to, you can click on that, those three dots and you can go find whatever folder you want to save this bundle in. It doesn't need to be anywhere super fancy. It can be anywhere you want it to be. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't want it there. So it's not going to be saved. I'm going to cancel this because I'm not going to save that bundle. And now we're going to close the manage resource window. And now we're going to go back up to settings and manage resource libraries. This is a little similar. So you can see I have some bundles in here. So this is a foliage bundle test that I made. I applied my, my name to it. I applied my the website. So if I were to give this to any of you, you would have that in your bundle when you go to download it. So if you had questions or you wanted to share the resource with someone else, and you want to make it easy, you can say, oh, just go to this website. They had the bundles there. You can download it, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Now, if I don't want this bundle activated anymore, I can go to deactivate. And now if I click on this, it is deactivated. It's still going to be there, but it's no longer active in my brush or my um, resource settings. So if I want to activate it, I can click on it. It takes like a second and it's loaded and it's there. If I have a new resource library I want to import, I can go to import. Same thing, I can go find whatever place I put this. Um, brushes, creative bundles, I've already put it in there. Yes, we'll override it. That's fine. So now I put that in there. It's overwritten with the, well, say quote unquote new version of the foliage bundle. And it's there. I can still create bundles from here as well. So if this is easier to look at to see what you have available, cool. Uh, use that. You can import and then create the bundle. It's kind of like a sim more simple version. And then if you want to use the other one too, that's fine. I'm actually going to deactivate this because I don't want that anymore. So now it is deactivated. And you can tell by the fact that I have it clicked or selected and it says activate. So I'm going to close that. 
If you want to bring back some of the brushes that you deleted by accident, make sure you have the show deleted resource option on or checked on and click on it. So this one you can see um, this is undelete resource. I can click on it or I can shift click to select multiple. It might be a little bit hard to see but there's a blue border around it. Um, the that one, these two, sorry. These two were deleted so I can go to undelete resource wait for a second and you can see down here if you uh, scrub back a couple seconds that they came back into my brush preset library it's pretty cool so if you're not your brushes aren't completely gone this also works for any of the other brushes that you deleted so let's say maybe you deleted some of the Creta 4 brushes by accident you can go ahead and go to your Creta 4 default resource bundle and go to show deleted resources and it'll bring it up and you can just say hey I want to bring that back in so we're gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> so we're gonna use this blue marker here and we're going to delete that resource it's gone we're gonna say show deleted resource and it's back and we're gonna undelete the resource and now it's back into our brush preset library so it's much easier to handle lost brushes this way, especially with the custom ones, because I know that was kind of like a, a pain in the butt, to put it lightly, to uh, deal with in the older version of Krita. So this is a major improvement. So you no longer have to worry about deleting your brushes by accident. You can always bring them back in a very easy manner without scrubbing through all your folders to find the blacklist files that were down here. It's not going to hurt delete the file, but this is much easier, much safer for those who aren't comfortable with deleting files within the Krita folders. All right, so let's go back to my maple leaf and create the bundle, actually save it out, do it all from scratch so you can see how Krita is going to handle it. And then I'm going to show you how to remove it completely from Krita so it doesn't show up at all. I completely forgot to do this. I'm recording this after the fact, so I apologize if I sound a little different. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to Settings, Manage Resources, and we're going to create our bundle. And we're just going to name this Foliage Brush Test. Now, to be transparent, this will this image, when you make a brush, you only need the image file. file. You don't need to export it as a bundle. You can just throw that image file in there. If I had made an actual brush with this, I could export that brush. But to save time, we're just going to skip that part and say it's an actual brush. So we're going to go to Foliage Test Brush. We're going to go to the brush tips here. So that's just where I am. If you have a different location or whatever it is you're exporting or as a bundle, go ahead and go to there. I'm going to scroll down to the maple leaf. I'm going to put it over here and select it. I'm going to save this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll save it to Krita Bundles. We'll choose that. So as you can see, I hit choose. I didn't rename it or anything like that because the bundle name will be that bundle file name. If I have an icon, you know what? Let's just put the icon in there. All right, so we chose the icon. So this is the icon for the bundle. There we go. We go to settings, manage resource libraries. We're gonna import. And where we saved it, we're going to click on it and hit open. And now it's there and activated by default. So we're going to close. Now you can also import the resource from here, but I did it here because I want to show that when you deactivate it, it doesn't disappear from the list, right? And there is no way to actually delete it from the list, at least not with this um, system right here, or this window. So because of that, it might be, oh, I don't want this bundle anymore. I've never used it. I didn't like it. I don't want it in here at all. I want it gone forever, right? So we're gonna close this because in, we made for it's deactivated right here. As you can see, it's not active anymore. So we're gonna close it. We're gonna go back up to settings uh, manage resources. We're going to open the resource folder. Now, earlier in the video, I told you this is where a lot of stuff was going to go after you put the bundles and everything in here. So it's not going to be in this folder, but if you look down here, 
I have the foliage test bundle. So if I want it gone completely, I can just click on it and hit the delete key. And I have to go back to where I imported that and I can either move that file or I can delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is so we can see what happens. So we're gonna close, settings, manage resource libraries, it's still there. I'm gonna restart Krita. Okay, so I have restarted Krita and opened this back up. And as you can see, my Krita bundle that I brought in as a test, the foliage one, is gone completely. So what I normally will do, if I don't want it, I'll obviously delete the one I made or the one that you theoretically imported or saved or downloaded or whatever because I don't want it anymore. So you can do that as well as removing it from the Krita bundle uh, or the Krita um, resource folder if you want to. You don't have to. So I can close that window go back to manage resources. So if I go back to the open resource folder, you can see that that bundle I imported is completely gone. It's not listed here anymore. There's no blacklist for it, nothing. It's just gone, All right? Because we completely removed it from the resource library. Now, obviously, if we didn't, it would still be available to activate again under the manage resource libraries in this list. And that's it. And that's how you completely remove a bundle you don't want to use anymore. Um, how you deactivate it and completely permanently delete it. Well, permanently delete it within Krita. Obviously, if you do want to use it again later, you just re-import the bundle and you're good to go. But it's much simpler than what it was before, and I'm very grateful for that because there were times I was just messing around with the bundles. I'm like, man, I wish I could just do this easily instead of manually going through everything. And now it's all automatic. I can just click on the button, takes me to the folder, delete, or whatever, and I'm done. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. I definitely recommend checking this out. And there are some resources on the Krita website, which I will make sure or at least try to remember to import or to link them in the description of the video so you can go test this out. You won't break anything by doing this. The, the worst thing that could possibly happen is you already have the bundle in Krita and it will let you know before you actually do it, as you saw happened earlier in the video. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.